Alright, well hello everyone and welcome back to General Clue Detective Woo. My name is of course Constantine and we have returned with Jenny here. Uh, we are back at the school, we are still in the school actually. Our mother just left and we now need to find the papers, uh, the essays for the students. So uh, let's go searching here I guess. Maybe we need to use our, um, our loop here, let's see. Where did she put those papers? Maybe we need to open up the, the doors first. Uh, let's see, can we open up anything? Oh, never mind. Hold up. I forgot that we can walk. And if you hold longer, she's also gonna run like crazy. Holy crap. Let's check this out. Examine the skeleton. Looking rather trim today, Ethan. New diet? <laughs> What's the matter? Lost your funny bone? <laughs> oh, Jenny. I love her. Uh, let's check on the jam, I guess. One of Jenny's earliest memories was making raspberry jam with her mom. It's the perfect substitute for blood in class demonstrations. And better tasting than the pig's blood the textbooks recommend. Alright, um, well, it seems like this is all we can do right here, so let's go all the way to the left. Let's see what else we can find. Oh my god, this is amazing, I really love this. Inspect the chart bulk. Becoming a great detective took more than book smarts. You needed real life experience. And Jenny was always on the lookout for a chance to get her hands dirty. Interesting. Oh, do we have to do anything here? Um, I don't think we can. I mean, I don't see anything we can interact with. Reveal their hand too soon. Takes it personal. Yeah, anyway, let's get the heck out of here. And let's carry on. Come on, Jenny. Oh, let's check this. Please do not touch. Huh. Someone must be running an experiment. Ooh. Interesting. Look at that. This looks so good. Gross. Pretty soon it's going to sprout legs. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like we can do anything to this, so let's just uh, get out of here. Journal updated. Let's check on the journal. Uh, so what do we have here? Mom was acting pretty weird today. No wonder it's been a year, but it still hurts. Huh. The case of the misplaced papers. Doesn't look like we can switch the paper to that place. Case closed. Someone's growing a strange green liquid. Gross. Someone's growing a strange liquid. Gross. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, what do we have here, though? <laughs> CEO Dedicated, strong-willed and direct uh, What else do we have? You helped mom the first time she asked You chose a creepy tune for the mysterious man to whistle um, You question mom motives Okay, never mind, let's go to this uh, Apparently we haven't found secret stuff So there is secret stuff in this game Awesome I'm looking forward to find them. Uh, anyway, let's keep going here and see what else we can find. Let's try to use the magnifying glass. Um, hmm. I don't really know exactly what to look at. Because it doesn't look like there's... Oh, hold up. I think I saw the, uh, I think I saw the papers. Yeah, they're right back here. Aren't that them? Oh yeah, that's it. There we go. Oh, nothing happened though. What the crap? What? It's not working. Huh. Let's try to interact with this again then. Come on, Jenny. And maybe... Let's see. Can we look behind? We cannot look behind it to see the papers. What the crap? Turns in the report on time. 
Can we use this? I mean, we can. We can use this, but um, I don't see the point. In oh, hold up. I think the the thing just changed. Huh. Nope, nothing changed here. I must be seeing things. Anyway, so the papers are definitely behind this blackboard. I mean, I can definitely see them there. Look at them. They're right there. <laughs> but I don't know how to pick them up. I don't know how to interact with them. Because if I do this, this doesn't work. So what the crap? I wish we could use this board. Mm. So weird. Let's see here. What else do we have here? Uh, we got jam. There doesn't seem to be anything around here either. And I don't think this is gonna do anything. Yep, just as I thought. Uh, we cannot get outside either. Oh, hold up. There's also a piece of paper under the, uh, the, the blackboard here. Like, right over there. Let's see if we can do this. No, this is not working either. What the crap? Oh, this is frustrating. I'm definitely not doing something right. I'm also unable to, uh, to simply tap on those papers. Let's see here. So we definitely need to get inside this. Oh, maybe this is how you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's just do this again. There we go. It's one of the student's term papers. You can tell by the terrible handwriting and erroneous conclusions. Mom must have put them behind the chalkboard. Hmm, okay, can we move it? Can you move the chalkboard? How do we do this though? Uh, actually, hold up. Let's see if we can simply go back here so that we can see them. There we go. And now, try this. It's not gonna work. What the crap? Seriously? Well, we definitely need to do something here. Um. I mean, I don't know how to move this so that we can access the the papers. It's so weird. I mean, I can clearly see them. Come on, game. What the heck? Hmm. Oh. Grab. We need to hold in order to grab. Ah, there we go. And this is how you move it. Holy crap. I just had to look at the freaking screen. <laughs> Pick up the papers. Alright, we got them. Found you. Time to get out of here. Damn, this took us so long to figure out. Anyway, let's get out of here. Jenny looked around the room one last time. Was she ready to leave? Oh, um... I guess we can stay for a second. Are we missing something here or why is he wanting us to stay for a second? Huh. Because it doesn't really look like we can interact with anything else. Let's just look around for a second. Nope. Actually, it doesn't really look like we can interact with anything. So let's just leave. Maybe that's a prompt for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to leave. Let's go. Alright. Okay, so she wasn't really dead. 
That would be silly. No, Jin was alive and well and ready for another perfect day in our third town. Right, let's see what do we got here. Oh my god, look at this man. This freaking game is gorgeous. The color palette here is absolutely stunning. This is really lovely. What the? Is that gonna be a dog or something? What a mess. I should investigate. <laughs> Let's check this out. Huh. What happened here? Ooh, look at that. Okay. Let's uh, inspect this. Pick up scrap. Artiton. Jenny had instinct for sorting treasure from trash. To the untrained eye, this was just a discarded piece of an old postcard. But to Jenny, it was a mystery waiting to be solved. I should keep my eyes open for any other pieces. Ooh, the case of the puzzling postcard. You know what? I think that if you go here. And right here, yeah, look at this. We collected one out of six. So this is the collectibles that we gotta look for. Interesting. Alright, um. Let's see. Read notice boards. The notice board was a watch with flyers, personal ads, and the occasional piece of gum. I'm amazed anyone can find anything on here. Fortunately, Jane had a wonderful trick to use in a situation like this. Mom always said, a good detective eliminates the noise. Focus on the details, and you find clarity in the chaos. Huh. Interesting. Okay, let's try this, let's see. Uh, so what's gonna happen if we... Tap. Alright, so we selected some stuff apparently, not sure what we gotta do with them. Mystic Healing... Wait, Mystic Healing with Gloria. Monthly Meetups. Stargate Society. Textbooks for sale, lightly chewed. <laughs> Pop-up party project this Tuesday. And Missing Cat answers to... Trevor. I wonder if anyone else reads this junk. Hold on. What's this? Oh, so the red one is interesting to her. Town notice, curfew. Stay safe, stay indoors, 9 p.m. to sunrise. Please pardon our mess while we improve your power grid. During this period, you may experience the minor inconvenience of daily blackouts. Oh no, they've extended curfew hours again. 9 p.m. to sunrise? That's ridiculous. But necessary, power outages had become a regular occurrence in town. It was dangerous to be wandering around after dark. It won't be long before we need a permit to go out at all. Interesting. Um, I think that's about it with this one. There's nothing here we can find. Alright, uh, let's keep going this way then. What the crap? Shrub. Hey, you! Oh, there was someone cutting the shrubs, never mind. <laughs> oh, hi there! What are you doing back there? Well, I was pruning. But then I discovered this Corellium bugberry bush. Discovered? These bushes are all over Arthurton. Actually... This is an incredible red bloom. There's nothing great about Arthur Tan. I beg to differ. Arthur Tan has many beautiful and exotic plants. Okay, uh, let's be interested, I guess. Really? Like what? Mushrooms with eyes that glow in the dark? Berries that emit a bioluminescent mist? And flowers with nectar as sticky as superglue. Where? 
I've never seen any of those things. Well, believe me, they do exist. I had the pleasure of seeing them up close. That's one of the privileges of working for Dean Strasberry in his greenhouse. Anyway, I should get back to work. I want everything to be perfect for the Dean's retirement celebration. Alright, um... Interesting. Let's check the notes for a second. So we got a curfew at 9pm. We got the curious postcard scrap student garden. Um... Okay, let's carry on. And we got a bunch of bikes here, but we cannot interact with them, so let's keep going here. Come on, Jenny. Keep going. Damn, this looks gorgeous, man. Look at this. We love you, Dean Strawberry. Oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me? I have never seen a game more beautiful than this. Look at this, guys. This is absolutely stunning. Oh god. Uh, let's carry on then. Bonfire celebration, Saturday. Look at the sign. Signs and decorations ab adorn the entire campus. A party to celebrate the Dean's impending retirement. Interesting. Uh, talk to workmen. Oh, they're trying to construct a statue, apparently. Left! Left! <laughs> I said left, damn it! What part of left are you having trouble with? My left or your left? My left! Obviously, I mean my left. Why should I mean your left? So you want me to move it in the other way? Yes, nothing will make me happier. If you're not careful, we're going to have bronze brains all over the floor. <laughs> because you're gonna drop the head. They seem busy. I should probably leave them to it. Alrighty then. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother them then. Holy crap! Look at this. Hopefully they don't drop it. Oh, this is the dean. Oh yeah, look at this. Greet Dean Strasberry. Let's have a chat with them, I guess. Hello, Mrs. Strasberry. How are you today? Louis Strasberry, beloved dean of Gumbold. Everyone's surrogate uncle laughs like Santa Claus. <laughs> a jolly gentleman, the dean was often seen shaking hands and kissing babies around town. He's also mom's boss. But more than that, he was her loyal friend. What do you think, Jenny? The dean has dedicated his life to Gumbold. and the townspeople had spared no expense in their tribute to him. Quite a striking resemblance, Mr. Strasberry. It's a scary thing, Jenny. Retirement. Great excuse for a party, though. <laughs> what will you do when you're no longer the Dean? I've been trying not to think about it. This place won't be the same without you. Things change, Jenny. Time marches on, and we must do our best to adapt. It's going to be difficult. But I'm sure we will get through it, though. What do you mean, we? Do you think they've made my belly too big? <laughs> Be nice or be honest? Uh, let's be honest, I guess. It might be all those bronze pancakes, Mr. Strawberry. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. No legacy is so rich as honesty. You are a clever one, Jenny LeClue. Speaking of which... Have you been practicing your detective skills? Have I? Of course! Always! Well, then I have a challenge for you. I bet you can't guess what I ate for breakfast. At last, a real challenge for Jenny. A 
fiendishly difficult puzzle that would take all her wits to solve. Huh. Respect your elders, respect them some other time. <laughs> respect them some other time. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, okay. Sorry, I just have to be somewhere. Of course, I understand. Oh crap, no! I actually wanted to... What? No, that's not right. <laughs> Jenny would never turn down an opportunity to flex her intellectual muscles. So she did what the Dean asked. Fine. <laughs> oh my god, thank god, because I actually wanted to do it. I didn't want to skip it. Anything for you, Mr. Strasberry? Oh, how wonderful. But first, I need to ask you a few questions. The interrogation of Dean Strasberry. <laughs> oh my god, I love how they made this game. It's so good. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the button here. G. Gumball logo. Basketball game today. Number one fan. The Dean was a big fan of the Gumball Moonbeams. And not just because of his son was a prominent figure of the team. Well, a bench warmer anyway. Alright, what else? Let's check this out. Powder, dandruff, no hair, sugar. Oh, maybe he was eating donuts. It can be dandruff. He has no hair. I have a hunch it's powdered sugar. <laughs> I have a hunch that's exactly it. Uh, let's see what about the spoon. Spoon instead of pen. Forgetful. Under stress. Looks like he accidentally put a spoon in his pocket instead of his pen. It's got a coffee stain on it. Alright. What about in his pocket here? What does he have in there? Uh, watch. Let's check this out. Solid gold. Old like so old. At least 100 years. Family hello. Nearly an hour slow. His watch is slow. That's unlike the Dean. He's usually very punctual. Huh. Your watch is 45 minutes slow. Is it? Oh my. That explains why there was no cheesecake left in the cafeteria. My head's not screwed on today. <laughs> Thank goodness you noticed. Or I'd be late for my meeting with your mother. Oh really? She didn't mention anything to me. Oh, well, of course she wouldn't. It's nothing important. Why are you meeting then? Oh, you know what? I have a feeling her mother is gonna become the Dean. It's just, uh, she's helping me finalize my, uh, my plans for... Your party? Yes, that's it. My retirement party, thank you. Are you okay, Mr. Strawberry? Of course. Now, let me fix my watch before I forget. Now, where were we? Alright, let's carry on. Um, I don't think we can interact with the eye, so let's go all the way down here to the to his rank. Yep, this is definitely something we need to interact with. Sancia potestas est ipsa. It's got some Latin words on it. Shiny. Gumball logo. Class rank, maybe club of a fraternity. Ipsa scientia potestas est. Looks like Latin. Yep, yeah, just as I thought. Your ring sure looks old. It was made for my grandfather. He passed it down to my father, who passed it down to me. And when the time comes, I'll pass it to my own son. The Strasbourg family has been champions of education for generations. What does the inscription mean? Knowledge itself is power. The inquisitive spirit is a mighty thing, Jenny. And nothing is as important as the truth. Alright, uh, what else? Ooh, there's a button that jumped, I think, right? There's... Actually, no, this is a splat. But apparently we cannot interact with it, so let's check... Using this, yeah. <laughs> I 
What? I don't think that's blood actually, that's some, uh, maybe something good that he ate. Some berry, maybe? I don't know, let's see. Blood? Salty? No sweet? Seeds? Texture plus other fruit? It's jam! Of course it's jam! The Dean didn't button his shirt properly. It looks like a blood stain, but the seeds indicate otherwise. Yep, that's true. Uh, so we got that going, let's see what else. Ooh, he's got something on his shoes, I guess. Uh, leaves? For the Dean, being covered in plant life was not unusual. His work as a botanist was renowned. Looks like you're carrying some extra baggage today, Mr. Strasberry. <laughs> well, I do have a lot on my mind. I was referring to your legs. <laughs> oh, thank you. I have been doing my daily calisthenics. No, I mean the sticky stuff on your pants. What? <laughs> oh. Uninvited guests. I've been working on a new orchid hybrid in my greenhouse. They're beautiful, but the leaves are quite clingy. I will say, I'm looking forward to spending more time in the dirt. <laughs> Alright, well, we got this going. We need one more freaking clue. Uh, at the moment, I don't really know exactly where to look for the last clue. We did look at the watch. We did look at the ring. We did look at the... Shoes. Hmm. The belly is not something we need to interact with either. So what the crap are we supposed to interact with here? Nothing on his face we can interact with. Oh, we need to use our thingy here, yeah, 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 look at this. In order to look at look at the note in his pocket, so let's check this out. I knew that, that I could interact with that, but I was not seeing an icon that would allow me to interact with. Anyway, let's check this out. Shaky penmanship, unusually cluttered, lots of revision self-doubt. Uh, a thick bundle of note cards poked out of the Dean's pocket. What's he keeping so close to his chest? I think this is uh, the card for his speech at the uh, at the event, maybe? You've been making a lot of notes, Mr. Strasberry. Oh, I was intending to make a speech on Saturday. Yeah, just as I thought. Those are notes for him making a speech, I guess. Why have you scratched out so much of it? For mother suggested I keep it short, and quite right too. I must have rewritten it 20 times by now. I just can't seem to find the right words. So what do you think, Jenny? Can you guess what I have for breakfast? Sure, Mr. Strasberry. I've got everything I need to solve this mystery. Hmm, do we now? Um, so the ship button, spoon, note cards, pocket watch, bow tie. The Dean's pocket watch is an hour slow. I got a feeling that we may need to connect the bow tie with the ship button. Maybe? This and this? Let's see, make the deduction. Likely used to stir coffee, powdered sugar pastry, tasty jam filling, spilled on shirt, one, two donuts? Yeah, that's exactly it, just what I thought. Jam on the shirt and powdered sugar on his tie. The evidence points strongly to the Dean's breakfast consisting of one, maybe two donuts? Solved, perfect! <laughs> I knew it, we got it. Oh, we got some more stuff to do here. Um. Gumball pin and the ring. Uh, maybe we need to combine the pin with the ring? The Gumball moonbeams are playing a game this weekend. Um, 
The Dean's ring is gaudy. Let's connect these together, maybe. Oh, we can connect another one. Hmm. Pocket watch. Maybe combine these three? The Dean's pocket watch is an hour slow. Let's check it out. Maybe. Oh, that didn't work. Crap. That doesn't quite add up. Let me give this some more thoughts. Uh, so this didn't really work. Uh, spoon, shirt button. So, I got a feeling we need to connect the spoon with the shirt button and this. So let's try that. Normally carries a pen. 45 minutes slow, forget to wind. All signs of a distracted man, rare for the Dean. Preoccupied? The Dean has neglected to wind his pocket watch. The act of a distracted man. This resulted in his whole routine being thrown off. Which might explain why he has a spoon in his pocket instead of a pen. Yeah, that's exactly it. Salt, perfect. We got it. You had a donut for breakfast? Yes. Yes, I'm guessing. Uh, strawberry raspberry, strawberry, right? There we go. Strawberry. How did you know? That part was easy. You always have donuts for breakfast. But something else caught my attention. Oh. I think you have something on your mind, Mrs. Strawberry. You are usually a picture of precision and punctuality. But today, there's a spoon in your pocket and your shirt button is undone. Oh my, you really are a Leclue. Your father will be so proud. Thanks. Well, I should be going. I'm meeting your son by the lake. And I'm meeting your mother by the library. <laughs> what a small world this is. Too small. A perfectly small world with everything in its right place. Who'll want to change that? Pardon? Nothing. See you on Saturday. Oh, yes. Until we meet again, John Leclou. <laughs> Until we meet again. Alrighty then, well this was absolutely awesome. I love this game, man. I, I am telling you, I think I'm gonna have to say this every single episode from now on. Because this game is and will be absolutely gorgeous for a long, long time. Alright, well, I think we're gonna have to end up the episode right here for now. And when we come back in the next one, we will carry on with the adventure and go meet Dean Strasberry's son by the lake and see where the adventure is gonna take us to next. Alright, well, as usual guys, thank you all very much for watching the video so far. If you enjoyed this, do not forget to leave a like down below and let me know down in the comments what you think about this. And if you're new here, consider subscribing as I'm posting videos every single day. And you can also hit on the notification bell so you get notified as soon as the next episode of Jenny LeClue is out. Alright, I'll see you all in the next one real soon. Bye! Okay, where do you want to meet? <laughs> this place will do. Who the crap is this guy? CJ. It's this town, Jenny. It's Arthurton. They're here, among us. Oh my god. I'm absolutely in love with this game. She heard a sudden strange sound. Oh! What the crap? What the...